and welcome to a special episode of Sweet Spots with Chris Rainwaters. I'm Chris, and today I am sitting down with Andrea Auger. She is the host of a one-time event for Shop My Porch. Hi, Andrea. Hi. How are you today? Great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for doing this. So um, let's kind of just get started and let's talk about you for a minute. Okay. So kind of who are you, what do you do, and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, well obviously I'm Andrea, <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and I'm with Vacations by Andrea, and basically I am um, a travel advisor and I help families and honeymooners plan their special vacations. Awesome! You, you may be helping me one of these oh, days. Oh, yay. Um, so are you from Vista or... I am not. Actually, I grew up on the East Coast. I grew oh, up wow. in New Jersey, and I've been out in Southern California since 1998. Very cool. Yeah. So what made you choose Vista, besides the helicopters? The helicopters are fantastic <laughs> here. Um, well, actually, we my husband's originally from the LA area, and um, we've been kind of bounced around a little bit in San Diego until we settled here. So we were in Carlsbad, then we lived in Oceanside, and then we bought our house in Vista a couple of years ago. We just wanted more space. Nice. So that's why we're here. So um, let's kind of pivot to the event. So this is a Shop My Porch thing, and a lot of people don't know what that is. So kind of, what is Shop My Porch? <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, Shop My Porch is basically um, a group and it focuses on small business. Um, there's lots of makers, but like myself, I'm not a maker except for creating memories and helping people make memories. That's what I make. Um, so it focuses on small businesses in our community and just kind of giving back to small business. Very cool. Yeah. Speaking of helicopters, Yay. that's I'm what cute. that noise is. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you like, oh, Vista helicopters, here I go. Um, do you know how it started? How shot my porch? How it started? You know, I really don't. I, I got involved in it. I think fairly close to the beginning, but I don't really know what got it started. To okay. Well, how did you find it? So, um, a gal that I know, another vendor that I know, Jen, yes. um, had posted something about it, and I'm like, wait, what's this? And she shared the information with me, and so I've been part of it ever since. Very cool. Yeah. Um, how has it kind of um, how has it helped your business? You know, I think with most of our businesses, it's about connections. Right. So, um, basically being able to build relationships with even the other vendors has been valuable, especially over COVID, just kind yeah. of getting to know people. And since there weren't any live events prior to now, mm. it's been a great way to just kind of start to know more people in the community, which right. has been a blessing. That's fun. And make more friends. That's yeah. kind of That's what, always good, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, do you have, like... Uh, a little known fact about your business or anything that you would like to share? A little known fact. Well, over the past year, I have definitely had time to um, <laughs> to focus in on the things that I love. Um, so I really um, got my credentialing with Hawaii and Alaska. Nice. Um, and then prior to that, I had gotten my... Um, certification for autism travel and special needs travel oh, so wow. a lot of people don't know that that's a thing but it is so it should be a thing if yeah it's not that's and, amazing. and it's uh it's it's a really neat thing to have um so that everyone can enjoy travel yeah yeah right and there's places they can go and exactly. noise levels and you can plan it all correct so and that they know that when they go that it will not only be enjoyable but it'll be safe right and so that's kind of the the key for that's families traveling really that. neat mm -hmm. i'm really glad that there's something like that for families yeah. wow um do you have a memorable experience or anything? Or where's your favorite vacation spot since you are the professional? Oh, my favorite vacation spot. This one always gets me because I like every vacation for the unexpected. Um, since I'm a planner, I plan a lot of things when we go on vacation. Um, I used to be a teacher, so there's usually an educational element involved as well. But it's always the things that we didn't plan that wind up being the things that we remember the mm -hmm. most. So I think when we were um, in the British Isles, we were in Ireland. It was definitely like one of those places that's been on my list for a long time. And Ireland is known for their potatoes. Okay. And I like potatoes, right? Right. Who doesn't like Who potatoes? Who doesn't like potatoes? So um, <laughs> we were at this restaurant across from Trim Castle. 
and they gave us potatoes with our food and they they're potatoes right i shouldn't be so excited but totally the best potatoes i ever had that's cool <laughs> yeah i know weird so then the the manager came around to ask how everything was and i said oh my gosh these are the best potatoes and he was a very tall gentleman and he kneeled down next to me and proceeded to give me the recipe for the potatoes cool it was really cool it was like such a like something that you wouldn't experience like anywhere else yeah and he was like do you have a pad of paper do you have a pen you want to write this down <laughs> So anyway, I've re recreated those potatoes a few times since we've been home. But um, yeah, that was really cool. I just loved the people. It, it was just, it was a wonderful experience. And I would go back. Actually, we're supposed to go back next year. We're nice. supposed to do it last year and the year before. But you she'll know. tell you where to go get those potatoes. Exactly. If you hire yes. her. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I'm going to keep that under wraps uh, unless you work. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about um, the event that's mm -hmm. happening Saturday. So obviously you are participating, uh, but who else? Like what else, what other kind of artists and vendors are we going to be having? Okay, so Creations by Annette. Um, these are all local gals, so I'm super excited to meet them. They live like in the neighborhood nice. practically. So Creations by Annette, she has shadow boxes, um, totes, makeup pouches, keychains, cake toppers. It's kind of like a little bit of a jack of all trades. Very cool. Um, her shadow boxes are beautiful. Um, they would make wonderful gifts. So come out and Mother's see her. Day. Yep, yep, Mother's definitely. Think Mother's Day. And then we cannot forget Ashley with Luca's soap. Uh, she makes all different kinds of soaps. They're super cute. And she has one particular item I'm really looking forward to. It's supposed to be a bug repellent, but it's Ooh. like a natural bug repellent and a stick form instead of like a spray. Oh, very cool. And so, yeah, that's on my shopping Me list. Me too. Yeah. I may have to be here. Yeah. And that, that's, <laughs> oh, the helicopters again. Oh. Yay. Um, <laughs> oh, this <laughs> It's the same one. He's just circling. And then last but not least is uh, Jessica is going to be coming also, and she makes cute bows, keychains, coin purses, and posters. So we're going to have a little bit of everything. There should be some really cute stuff to choose for, for mom, for dad, for grads, um, whoever's on your shopping list, really. Uh, yourself. <laughs> yeah. So basically what you should do is book a trip with Montrea, go on the trip, get little trinkets and fun things, and hire um, what, Annette to make you a shadow box with all of your fun trinkets. And yeah, this thrown it out there. Yeah, no, I think that's a fantastic <laughs> idea. I was actually looking at those myself going, uh -huh. gosh, how fun to come back from your trip with all of your little tickets and stuff and have her make a shadow box out of your stuff from your trip. That's, a, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fantastic idea. Telling you guys idea. what to do. So this is a one-time event. It's happening tomorrow. That is Saturday, May 1st, and it's from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. The address is 906 Rose Drive in Vista. Come out and shop local. Come out and support these ladies. They work hard. They make amazing things. And hello, Mother's Day. I want a shadow box, honey. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to add? No, not really. Just hope to see you um, tomorrow at our event. Um, we look forward to welcoming you. Welcome you. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Sweet Spots. I'm Chris Rainwaters and yeah, get your butt out there. Go shop local. COVID's over people. Go have fun. Well, wear your mask, but COVID is mostly over. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.